Welcome back to my channel. This is V3 Zadeji Suraj here. Today we will be discussing about MMDVM hotspot. MMDVM stands for Multi Mode Digital Voice Modem. Simply we can say that it's an internet gateway to a particular digital network of arms. You can use an MMDVM hotspot if you don't have a digital repeater nearby or simply you want other options like DSTAR, DMR or YSERF which are not supported by your local repeater. This low power hotspot is a combination of hardware, firmware and software that lets an amateur radio operator with an internet connection link directly to digital voice systems around the world. With a transmitter power of around 10 mW, a hotspot acts as a personal repeater so you can connect to a variety of digital radios and digital networks like DSTAR, DMR, YSF, P25 and NXDN using a digital ST or mobile radio. The hotspot acts as a mediator between your digital ST and internet. Also configuration is done through a free program called PyStar. Once installed and set up, PyStar can access through any internet browser or any computer. The basic hardware consists of a Raspberry Pi Zero and a MMDVM hat attached on it. The MMDVM is a RF board which sends signal from internet to your digital ST as well as sending your transmitted signal back to the internet. A small OLED display is provided which will help you to identify the active mode of transmission along with their call sign. The first step is to register for a Brandmaster ID. This takes around 24 to 48 hours for processing. Once you have this ID, you can go ahead for registering your hotspot. The registration process is not covered in this video. If you wish to have a separate video for that, let me know in the comment box. Now talking about the configuration, the first step is to configure the Raspberry Pi. For that, we need to create a Pi star image in the SD card. For that, go to pystar.uk website. From the download option, you have to go to download pystar. You will see multiple set of image files there from that. This is the image file for Raspberry Pi. Download that. Go to your download folder and extract it in another folder. Now next I will be using Raspberry Pi Imager for creating the image file on the SD card. Now insert your SD card. Go to Raspberry Pi Imager. From the operating system select Use Custom. Now select the image file that we have just downloaded. Open it. Now choose the storage that is the SD card. Carefully select the SD card. Select the SD card. Select no here. This is a warning pop-up. Make sure you have selected the correct SD card and click on yes. It will take 5 to 10 minutes to complete the writing and verification. After completion, remove the SD card from the PC. Now talking about the hardware part, we have this simplex type MMDVM hat and on the front side we can see an SMA connector for connecting the external antenna. On the back side we have this uh, bark strip pairs. I have connected a bark strip on the front side for connecting it to the OLED. And on the Raspberry Pi, I have already pre-soldered the bark pins required for connecting this to the MMDM hat. And this is the antenna provided that need to be connected to the SMA. And uh, this is the OLED. And this is the memory card that we have prepared in the previous step. Now let us assemble all together. So let us connect uh, the MMDM hat on Raspberry Pi. And I am also connecting the OLED on hat. You can remove this uh, bulk pins if you want to permanently solder the OLED. It will save the gap. Now let's connect the antenna. And I am inserting the SD card that we have prepared in uh, Raspberry Pi SD card slot. Now we are ready to go. I will be using this uh, Raspberry Pi official wall adapter for uh, powering up the wall setup. Once you turn on the power supply, you will get a LED indication in Raspberry Pi as well as uh, MMDVM hat like this. Wait for few minutes and uh, you will see a red LED blinking. This means that the Pi Star setup Wi Fi hotspot for uh, initial configuration is available. Connect your PC Wi Fi to this particular network. Once you are successfully connected to this network, uh, you will be having access to this particular link Pi Star dot local slash admin. Use the username Pi Star and password as Raspberry. 
to logging in once you log in you will be automatically launched to this particular page here you will be having access to multiple configuration in the control software i have selected mmdm hotspot in controller mode i have selected simplex mode after doing this click on apply changes the services will be stopped and you will be forced to log in again enter the same credentials and log in to this particular page next step is to enable the modes i have selected uh, dmr mode as of now you can select other modes also now we have to configure the oled type that we are using my oled is uh, oled type 3 click on apply changes once you have done the services will get restart and you will be back on the same page and you can find new options in the general configuration here you can update the call sign the dmr id that you have obtained uh, from registration and the radio frequency that uh, you wish to operate your uh, ht make sure that it is in the license frequency range you can update the latitude and longitude of your location then you have to update the town details and the grid locator and the country and the url i prefer to use a qrz url so i have given the qrz url to my profile next step is the important one you have to select the correct modem type i am using is mmdmhs raspberry pi hat now next you have to select the aprs host and after that you have to select the system time zone and dashboard language once you are done you can click on apply changes the system will stop the services apply your modified changes and it will launch the same page once again if oled is connected to your uh, hat you can see a startup message in your oled next step is to configure the dmr configuration for that select the dmr master as dmr gateway and click on apply changes system will apply the new modifications and uh, it will relaunch the same page with additional configuration in the additional configuration details uh, you can select the required brand master master dmr master and other settings as per your requirement or also you can select the same configuration as shown in this particular video once you are done with your changes click on apply changes Again the system will stop the services and uh, it will relaunch the same page after applying your configuration. Now next step is to configure the Wi-Fi configuration. Under the Wi-Fi configuration click on Wi-Fi info to get the details of connected network. If you want to configure new network click on scan for network. It will take some time to scan the Wi-Fi network and it will list the available Wi-Fi hotspot. From the list, select your Wi-Fi network and enter the PSK and click on save and connect. This wireless configuration will come into effective only after restart. For that, go to power option in the top and select on reboot. If OLED display is connected, you can see the status there also. After reboot, the PyStar setup hotspot will not be available if the PyStar is successfully able to connect to the internet. Now you have to reconnect your uh, PC to your internet Wi-Fi network to launch the PyStar dashboard. In this latest version, we have to enable the OLED separately. For that, go to configuration. In the export option, click on MMDM host. To drag down, you can find option to enable the OLED. In the OLED, you have to select the lock screen saver as one. Now let's enable another mode that is D-Star mode. After you enable it, click on apply changes. The system will stop the services and it will reboot with the new configuration. Since we have enabled the OLED display, it will display the current configuration and the startup details. In the configuration page, you can see that uh, the 
D star configuration is automatically configured and the dashboard we can see that uh, both DMR and D star is enabled. Similarly, you can easily enable YSF mode. All you need to do is enable the YSF enable button and click on apply changes. It will automatically configure the default settings. And you will see something like this once you fully configure the MMDM hotspot. Let's check out whether the APRS packets are reflecting in APRS server. For that I have logged in to APRS.fi and here is my station. Monitoring the row packets, uh, I can see a packet uh, transmitted from my MMDVM hotspot here. So that's all with the quick setup. If you guys enjoyed, do like this video.